Salutations and good morrow everyone and welcome back to another Grounded Update video where today we're jumping in and starting a brand new mini series that is going to be on the channel that is me going through and making some shorter videos for you guys to just show you guys where some of the more advanced materials that you're going to need for later in the games are. So I thought what the heck we might as well start up this mini series for all of you guys to help out all of you seasoned people or I know that after the 10.0 update there was a huge new joining of people who have started up and playing Grounded so I said hey why don't I hop in and answer some of your guys's comments and questions through a mini series that I'm going to be doing about how to find different items between uh, where to find a lot of mushrooms crow feathers and egg scales bones and all of that so this is going to be episode one I'm going to try to do two of these a day because they're really short uh, that way I can get them out as quick as I can for all of you guys this is the only episode that will have this really long intro so thank you to everybody who's sticking through and watching that one but I really do appreciate all you guys please like comment and subscribe and today we're going to be talking about mushrooms now why am i talking about mushrooms when obviously there's some right in front of you sim you just go pick them up well because in this update it is very important to have a lot of mushrooms due to the mushroom building and also let's face it mushrooms are a fantastic food source early game so the first one early game material good to have a lot of it so i'm going to show you guys where to go grind it out especially when out respawns so often now first of all there is two different types of mushrooms. There is small mushrooms that you pick up, and then there are toadstools that you use an ax in order to take down. I'm gonna be showing you a location where you can get both. So, with a new game, as I have, you guys will see that I am here by the Chunky Chubs, literally league, league approved uh, baseball, however you pronounce it, and what you wanna do is you wanna look to the face, turn around at the house, and run straight for the house. Okay, you're gonna run around through here. Make sure you don't get caught up on anything and be careful because there could be a random bombardier uh, beetle or a wolf spider meandering around. Do not get hit by those. They will kill you, especially early game, but just keep running this way towards the house. What we're looking for is right underneath the porch. A lot of you guys who've been playing ground for a long time know of this area, but some people still don't. So I thought what better thing to do than to show it off right away. So let me run over here for you guys and we will go and gather up these mushrooms. So what you're looking for is that giant paint bucket right there. When you get to the giant paint bucket you know that you are close don't forget as you're running over here that there is a burgle chip that's right there you can go ahead and grab that for you guys but let's run over this way towards the porch all right so now you'll see these nice wooden beams and you're underneath the porch turn to your left and start running down and keep an eye on the right do not get too close and comfortable on this right hand side because what's sleeping right there is not a good time to wake up. So just run around him on this side, but you can already see where all of these mushrooms are. You will see that there is a ton of mushrooms back here. Normally you can harvest 100 of these little guys, and now seeing all these larger mushrooms are all harvestable as well. You'll be able to harvest up all of those and start your own mushroom garden, or you can even go through and come back and use this as your garden, maybe build up a little bit of a fence and a path to get over to here. You could build a little bridge that lets you down in this area, put a wall around it with some palisades and have your own in-game, game generated, not farm generated, mushroom farm for yourself. So I hope that this video was helpful for you guys. If it was, make sure you guys click that like button for me. Leave me a comment down below of other things you would like me to do one of these small walkthrough videos on to show you guys where you can go get a ton of these resources. Also, please don't forget to subscribe. And as always, I'll see all of you guys in the next one.